so I have a secret. I bought makeup products for a dollar. Yes, I did. Get it to the money. Everybody made. So I got makeup products from Shop Miss A. I know you're like, what the hell is that? So on Shop Miss A's website, shopmissa.com, which I will be listing down below in my description box, features all makeup, a dollar. You think I'm lying, right? Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. This is Melissa, aka your girl Naturally the Beauty, as you see below. I would like to thank everybody for coming back if they are returning viewers. And if you are new to this channel, hey girl, hey bro, hey family, welcome. Stay a while. Anyway, today I am showing you my Shop Miss A haul. All the makeup on the website one dollar oh girl, can't believe it so and what I'm gonna show you in this video is just a little a little little something that I picked up as my first purchase and not only do they have makeup they have accessories they have a whole bunch of cute stuff that once you visit the site you're going to be addicted to it very highly recommend it if you're just starting in makeup or if you are a beginner makeup artist like myself um, trying to build your kit so let's go to the next thing so the first things i am showing you are a gold highlighter it's called the ooh, look at that it's called the velour highlighter in the shade stonger 1310 stonger and this is another one it's like white pearlescent in the shade toxic so I'm gonna swatch those because I know that y'all did not just see what I just showed you. So this is stronger. Ooh, it's actually really creamy. I don't know if it's because my room is hot or, but let's do that. Ooh. So you see that? So I guess it's supposed to be creamy because it's velour. other finger swatch this one from what you see it's like white pink purple white pink purple pearlescent colors it's cute it's cute it's cute so the next thing I got is a few Santi foundations as I said before I'm trying to build my makeup kit and I wanted to try out a few of these um, affordable foundations. They are squeeze top, so you can do the drops. And I got a few brown colors. So this one is in medium bisques, and this one is in true beige. All of the foundations that I bought to use on other people and myself, I'm gonna, of course, try them out on myself. But I'm not gonna sit here and swatch all of them because I bought a lot of different foundations and concealers. But these are the next foundations that I purchased. They have a matte finish, um, and they are from Amuse Cosmetics, so you can see like it's really cute. And these come in a lot of colors as well. Okay, so wait. I actually got the shades 8 through 12 because I wanted to see how dark I can go with these shades. If they are good quality, I am going to use them. So as you can see, I got a whole bunch of different colors and the, they are not named. They just come in different shades and they are listed by numbers. So this is the lightest one that I picked up. This is the darkest one that I picked up. So not as dark as it should be but it's a start that is these makeup remover cleansing wipes and they are unscented which is good it comes with 15 pre moistened wipes and it's pH balanced and it's alcohol free which is good so everybody could always use these and they were only a dollar these next things they are matte 
gel eyeliners and I got them both in shade black and shade dark brown. They both come with a applicator brush and I think that's cool. It says that it has a gentle formula, it's long lasting, it dries fast and it's easy to apply. The next thing I have is this bronzer from LOL aka Lots of Love and this is a bronzing powder. It is in one of their more darker colors, the brown sugar color. The next thing I got from Shop Miss A is these cotton squares, which you should be able to use for everything. If you want to remove stuff, if you want to use it for alcohol, if you want to remove your nail polish, whatever you want to do, you should always keep some cotton swabs, cotton squares around your house. This is from AOA Studio. This is one of the actual Shop Miss A brands from the website. Once again, a good price. So one thing that I am really excited about are these lashes. So this is also from AOA Studio, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see them. But this is six lashes. This is six lashes. Six lashes in one pack. This was not a dollar. It was probably four dollars, five dollars, but it's six lashes in a pack, and they all are in a wispy style which is good if you are just trying lashes but you still want them to look natural and a bit defined these are actually my favorite style and this is in the style scarlet one thing i bought is the wonder blender so this blender is one of their newer blenders it's soft it's pink and they have a bunch of colors and this was also a dollar okay so next are these two makeup primers for foundation you usually apply these before you apply your foundation on moisturized skin don't forget that it is their perfecting blur primer and this one is just a mattifying primer it's more on the white peaches side but it should all blend in and sit well under your foundation so I forgot this last velour highlighter this is in the shade for you and I'm gonna also swatch that next to the other two that I swatched so this is how they all three look next to each other I feel like this one is very strong and it's really good for dark skin and these two are good for this one is good for all types and this one is good for like maybe medium tone like mine so this is eyeshadow primer they have a bunch of colors for some reason it's not like eyeshadow primer is supposed to show but this is their eyeshadow primer from the AOA studio brand as well in the shade glow so this should be helpful for getting your eyeshadows to pop a bit more and show a bit more if you're having trouble with pigmentation. So for some reason when I shopped, like all the brushes that I wanted was sold out, but one brush that I really wanted to try was this fan brush. I know, I know you're not supposed to fan yourself, but you're supposed to be extra light. What's your highlight? But it's really soft. This was also a dollar. I love this brush and all the brushes are labeled with a number um, and the brand that produced it and it's very 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 fluffy so what I'm gonna do is probably visit the site again and see what brushes are in stock because I really do love shopping for affordable brushes that are also soft and blend well with the products that I'm using so next I have these matte bronzers. They also come in different shade ranges, but they are not named. They are listed by numbers. I think that these are cool shades actually for like lighter skin tones or like, especially if you're lighter than me, these are cool shades. Um, I got these for my lighter skin um, clients that I may try out on. And of course, let me let me see if I can do a swap. Hold up, it's showing y'all, it's showing. <laughs> But, yeah, so it's pigmented. That's cool. It's their matte bronzer in the shade 
four and in the shade three. So here is two of their powders. One is the finishing pressed powder in the shade translucent. So it does appear white, but translucent powder in moderation should be what it says, translucent. Um, this one is the AOA setting powder in the shade banana. For brown skin people, banana is a great shade to set um, your concealer, to set your makeup with um, because it is tinted more so on the yellow side. Of course, in moderation, it should not produce a bunch of flashbacks. A tip that I have is to take a beauty blender. When you dip it in the powder, you press it on your own skin like once or twice before applying it to your face. That help avoid flashback. But there's a good amount of powder and this was also a dollar. So I will be trying this out. It actually doesn't look bad. It looks, it looks very finely milled. I know you guys can't see it. I know you can't see it. But it looks good. So these are two mascaras that I bought. This one is a mascara primer that I'm going to try out. Mascara primer is really good if you want your lashes to pop more. You use this first and you comb it through your lashes and then you follow it with the actual mascara color. So this one is from Amuse Cosmetics, which was some of the other products was from. Um, this is called the Pro Big Mega Lash and it is waterproof. So these are two blushes. I have the Lumi Radiant Blush and it's in the shade Frantic Pink. I'm gonna swatch this one on my arm and show you. So, ooh, that, blush is, that blush is nice. This is the second blush from Malibu Glitz and it is in the shade number five, Plum Rose. And this would work well for darker skin people. So this is how it looks. And this is Plum Rose and I'm also gonna swatch this right next to this one to show you guys how it looks. So as you can see, it's a bit darker and it's very, very pigmented, very pigmented. So next up, I have these two contour sticks, which is really good if you are also a beginner in contouring. All you have to do is just outline on the side of your face and just draw a few lines at the top of your head or wherever you want to contour. Um, and these also came in a bunch of colors, which was good to know. This is the AOA Studio brand. This one is one of the darker shades in the shade Spice. And this one is one of the middle shades in the shade Sand. I'm hoping that these work very well and blend very well. So another thing I bought was this clear lip gloss from AOA Studio. It is called the Lip Pop Lip Gloss and it's clear in the shade Superstar. And a clear lip gloss is something that you want to have in your collection. So no matter what color you have on, you can just throw a pop of gloss on and it should radiate. So I can't wait to try this because I'm such a gloss girl. Um, they also had lip oils and a bunch of other color and other types of lip gloss. So I will be revisiting the site after trying this out to see what I think about it. Oh, and if I like it, I'm gonna buy a bunch of these for my kids. Next is this eyeliner, this liquid eyeliner from the Starry brand that they also feature on their site. It's cute packaging. It's like this purple pearlescent and it looks like, like a special potion or something. But when you open it, it comes with this kind of applicator tip. So it looks like it's marker. It looks like it could be marker, but it also dips into the actual liquid. That's really black. That is really black. I like it. And this was also a dollar, you know. So last but not least is this AOA Sculpting Brow Pencil that I bought in the shade Dark Brown. I'm always looking for affordable brow pencils that actually are pigmented and work. Like this up here, I used my $2 e.l.f. pencil. Yes, I did. But slip, I only bought, I bought 35 items and they all were, 99% of them were a dollar. And you get free shipping if you spend $30 or more. 
and you can get like 35 products for $30. That is the end of my Shop Miss A dollar makeup haul. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that this influenced your decision to try out some dollar makeup. Um, I think that this is a good website to start with if you are trying to get into makeup or if you're just trying to look for affordable makeup to try. Like we did like this video, please don't hesitate to like down below, um, leave a comment and let me know your thoughts um, and also subscribe down below if you haven't. You're welcome to check out my channel. I have a whole bunch of natural hair videos. I have makeup videos and I also feature beauty videos and lifestyle. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope that this video helped you just a little bit. As usual, be blessed and I'll see you in my next video.